Hi guys, welcome to the RPM Resonance Chemistry. Now we are discussing about uh, uh, fourth lecture in uh, advanced naming reactions. Advanced naming reactions. So uh, in previous lectures, uh, the first to third lectures, we are discussing about um, like uh, olefin formation reaction. Olefin formation reaction. So first, uh, second, uh, like a Shapiro and Bomford Stephens reaction. So here olefins formed from the like a tosyl hydrazones. Okay, preparation of olefins from tosyl hydrazones. Now in third lecture, make more coupling. Here the preparation of olefins uh, from carbonyl compounds from carbonyl compounds uh, with the help of a low valent titanium catalyst low valent titanium catalyst now uh, in in our fourth lecture which is also the preparation of olefins but here the preparation of olefins uh, from beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones simply the preparation of olefins from aryl sulfones okay now we'll go through the our olefination julia lithiago olefination generally simply it is called as julia olefination julia olefination okay so according to the definition of julia olefination Simply from aryl sulfones, from uh, preparation of olefins, preparation of uh, olefins from aryl sulfones, aryl sulfones in presence of uh, sodium mercury. Okay, sodium mercury. Generally, it, it, it undergoes three steps. Uh, so, one is addition. Second one is acylation, third one is uh, reduction. Okay, so th this reduction step is called our uh, Julia olefination. Reduction step is uh, nothing but a uh, Julia olefination. So, uh, uh, in reduction step uh, from beta acyl oxy beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones can convert it into like uh, olefins. Okay, this that is the third step. Okay, so general representation of Julia olefination is nothing but uh, like this. Okay, now here. This is sulfone compounds which is connected to the aromatic ring. So, aryl sulfones, aryl sulfones. So, this is the R and R dash, R and R dash. Aryl sulfones, so here adjacent position of a sulfone group is alpha, then it is beta. Okay, simply beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones, beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones in presence of sodium mercury, it converts into like a olefin, it converts into. R R dash R R dash. Okay. According to the uh, definition of Julia olefination, now here beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones in presence of sodium mercury it gives the olefins. Now here uh, our definition which which came from very uh, from the very basic of Julia olefination reaction. Okay. Now how it is prepared uh, uh, the beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones? How it is prepared? Now the general methods which is nothing but a preparation of beta acyl oxy beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones so here so julia olefination is a very uh, like a rhizo selective reaction so highly rhizo selective reaction it forms a, like a e isomer as a major e isomer as a major now let us discuss why e, e, e isomers are major in after the mechanism okay now we we'll go through the preparation of uh, preparation of beta acyl oxy sulfones acyl oxy aryl Sulfones. Okay, now uh, we'll prepare the beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones from basic levels. From basic level. Now here it is a generally phenyl attached OH is called phenol. Now here instead of oxygen, here we used the SH that is nothing but a thiophenol. Thiophenol. So now here thio in in presence of sodium and ethanol, we'll get the sodium like a sodium phenoxide like it, it is called a sodium thiophenoxide sodium thiophenoxide so here it is used like a, an alkyl bromide alkyl halide so this negative charge can uh, attack over here so then b, bromide bromide has eliminated NaBr okay now we'll get the phenyl yes CH2Br CH2 like R group CH2 R group now here like a uh, thioethers like a thio aryl uh, alkyl thioethers so now here we used the like peroxy reagent MCPBA metachloropyrbenzoic acid so if one mole of metachloropyrbenzoic acid, uh, acid is used now we will get the like a uh, uh, one only one mole of uh, oxygen uh, at the sulfur group now we used the two moles of uh, sulfonyl group now we will get the two moles of oxygen uh, here CH2 R group. Here, sulfur oxidized with uh, two moles of oxygen from the MCPBA. From the MCPBA, this is nothing but a uh, aryl sulfones. Okay, this is aryl 
sulfones. Okay. So here, here onwards, we will prepare the like a beta acyloxy olefins in three steps. One is uh, addition, second one is acylation, third one is uh, like a reduction reaction. The reduction is nothing but Julia uh, definition. Okay. Now we'll go through the like first step, uh, aryl sulfones. Now here, the first step of aryl sulfones here is like a phenyl S double bond O, S double bond O, CH two. R, CH2, R. So, sulfonyl, sulfonyl group attached to the CH proton, its pKa value is 27. So, which is nearly like a ester, ester CH functionality, ester attached to CH functionality. That means uh, those acid derivatives are uh, acidic group, acidic functionality. Now, here it is also, it acts as an acidic proton, it acts as acidic proton. Okay, here represented proton act as an acidic due to the, its pKa value, due to its pKa value. Now, we use it like a beta lithium like a like a, any argon or methyl lithiums or ethyl magnesium bromides ethyl magnesium bromide these uh, these bases are in a thf like a tetrahydrofuran solvent okay so these bases taken in the thf now these bases act as a uh, basis now it abstracts the proton from aryl sulfones now it converts into pyrrhyl sulfur double bonds okay now here ch minus ch minus okay here the first step carbon ion is formed so now here we use the an aldehyde okay so first step simply aryl sulfones aryl sulfones are treated with aldehyde okay now here this carbon ion will attack over there so then it forms the like a uh, oxyanion then it forms the oxyanion so uh, for a rep a representation now we i used the r dash for uh, without confusion okay now here phenyl s double bond o here ch here r okay now our ch attack over the carbon so that carbon having O minus uh, as well as uh, H as well as R dash. Okay. So this is the oxyanion. This is the oxyanion. Okay. This is the first step is addition. First step is addition. Now here, first step is addition. Okay. So in second step here, the protection of uh, oxyanion, that's why we use it like a SL group. SL group. Now with the help of SL chloride or acetic anhydride or acetic anhydride. So these both are the like uh, acylated groups. Both are acylated groups. Now here we use the acylated group. Here phenyl S double bond O. Now here C H R C H. Now here O A C. Here R dash. Okay. O A C here R dash. So simply this is the aryl sulfonates. Aryl sulfonate adjacent group is called alpha. Then that adjacent group is called beta. Beta having the acyl group, acyl oxy group. Okay. Then it's called beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones. Beta acyl oxy aryl sulfones. So this is the acylation. So the, this is the second step. Now here it is the first step. Now in third step, uh, in presence of sodium and mercury, sodium and mercury. Now we will get the like R and R dash. Here E isomer as a major. E isomer as a major. This is the third step. Okay. Now first step is addition. Second step is acylation. Third step is a reduction. Third step is reduction. Okay. Now we discuss the mechanism of the like a uh, uh, from beta acyloxy beta acyloxy aryl sulfones to uh, alkenes aryl sulfones to alkenes. Let us go through the mechanism of uh, Julia olefination. This is the main mechanism. It undergoes the like a radical mechanism. It undergoes the radical mechanism. Now we'll go through the mechanism of uh, Julia olefination. Okay, now here it is uh, S double bond O, S double bond O phenyl. That means uh, aryl sulfones. Uh, here R, here O, CO, CH3. Here it is R dash. Okay, so here in presence of uh, sodium, in presence of uh, sodium. So uh, before the sodium, here uh, we use the base. Okay, so that base abstract the proton, now it becomes uh, an ion, it becomes uh, an ion, why because sulfonyl attached carbon, it, it is uh, acidic in nature, it is uh, acidic in nature, now here phenyl, O, CO, CH3, here R dash. So this carbon ion can shift the carbon-carbon single bond towards the acyl oxy group, now here acylated group is eliminated, so, so it is eliminated as uh, OAC, it is eliminated as OAC minus, now here it is R, R dash, S yes, double bond, S yes, double bond, like S yes, double bond O, double bond O, phenyl. Okay, so this is the like uh, olefinated sulfide, aryl sulfide with a uh, olefin. Okay, now here we use the sodium metal in mercury. That means uh, sodium it uh, it donates their electron 
for getting the octet configuration. So the more electronegativity atom, it, it will obstruct the that proton, that electron, not the proton. Okay, sorry. Now here, so sulfur and oxygen can undergoes the homolytic fission. Now here, these two are getting each each radical. These two are getting each radical. Now again, sodium send the electron to the oxygen atom. That is why because it is more electronegative. Now here one electron, here one electron. These two electrons appears as a minus. Okay, these two electrons appears as a minus. R dash. Okay. Now here it is a double bond O. It is phenyl. Okay. So here it having the radical. Here it is having the radical. It having the radical. Again, now here the another homolytic fission takes place between the sulfur and carbon atom. Another homolytic fission takes place the between the sulfur and carbon atom. Now here R R R radical carbon radical R dash along with a, like a sulfur. Here it is the lone pair. Now here it is O minus. Here it is phenyl. Here it is phenyl. It is the byproduct. We don't need. We don't need. Now here one uh, one radical is there. Now again uh, sodium metal can send the another electron to the carbon atom. Now here it forms the R negative. Okay. So here so I, I, here this carbon ion will uh, will favors the like a trans molybdenum. Here this carbon ion will give up the trans product as a major. That is nothing but E product. Even though we we'll take the like erythro erythro isomer of beta acyl oxy sulfones or thio isomer of beta acyl oxy sulfones, it favors the opposite of the uh, both bulkier groups. Why? Because it is uh, similar to the like a birch reduction, like uh, alkynes to trans molybdenum. Alkynes to trans molybdenum. They are uh, suffered from the like uh, adjacent negative charges. Are uh, very uh, strained. The uh, same mechanism follows here, so that's why here it, it uh, proceeds through the olefins uh, as a trans product. Now here R R dash R R dash. So this is the olefins. So this is the simplest mechanism of uh, like a Julia. Olefins. After seeing this mechanism, uh, it it involves uh, three steps. One is uh, addition mechanism or addition step. Second one is uh, acylation step. Third one is uh, reduction step. Okay. So these three are very larger time. Okay, it takes a larger time. That's why it is modified. So before going to the modification of Julia uh, olefination, so now we'll go through the. Some of the examples, simple representation of a Julia reaction. Okay, we'll discuss some of the example of uh, this Julia olefination. Okay, now here, so general representation, aryl sulfones, aryl sulfones. So this is the aryl sulfones. So here, the first step, uh, like a base, like a uh, like a uh, butyl lithium or magnesium ethyl magnesium bromide, whatever it may be, it is base in THF. Now the second step, uh, aldehyde, any aldehyde. Okay, third step is a uh, Protected as as a acetic anhydride or acyl oxy like acyl halides. Now the fourth step is a reduction. Okay, now fourth step is like a sodium in mercury. What will happen? So sodium in mercury. Now we will get the like a R and R dash as a anti product. R and R dash as a anti product. We are already discussed uh, those examples in our mechanism. Okay, now we'll go through the some of the very good examples in this. Now the first example is. So the simplest example of uh, uh, Julia olefination is SO2 phenyl, so with methyl. That is nothing but ethyl group. Here we use the like a base of butyl lithium. First step. Now the second step is uh, uh, so here it is. The first step is a butyl lithium. Now the second step is uh, like a aldehyde. Okay. Here we use the some of the aldehyde like this. Okay. This is the aldehyde. In third step. In third step, we use it there like um, so automatically like a C two O acetic anhydride. The fourth step is Na HG Na HG. So let us go through the step by step. Now here the first step it is a protonated. Sorry, it is a uh, it is obstructed by the base. Now it becomes a, a carbon ion. So after the carbon ion here it is aldehyde. It can give up the uh, proton. Uh, it can attack over the electrophilic center. Then it forms the like a now here it is group uh, one two carbons. Now here it is carbon atom. That means here it undergoes the O minus over there. O minus. Now here it is the like a SO two phenyl. It is the methyl SO two phenyl. It is methyl. Now here it is O minus. So if this O minus can protect protected by the like a uh, second step it is protected by the AC two O. Now it becomes a OAC. It becomes a OAC. Then after these two are the opposite, then we use the like a sodium mercury. We will get the this type of a product as a major. Okay, this is the major product. So here trans product is major. Trans product is major. Now we'll go through the some of the another examples. Some of the another examples.
Okay, now the second example of this reaction is here any hexane, like any hexane SO2 phenyl. This is the uh, like any hexane, uh, like a sulfonyl, uh, ar ar aryl sulfonates of uh, any hexane along with uh, CH2, that means uh, pen pentane, oh, sorry, heptane. Now, here the and second step is ethyl magnesium bromide, ethyl magnesium bromide. Now, the second step is uh, some of the benzaldehyde. Here we use the benzaldehyde. In third step is uh, Ac2O. Fourth step is uh, sodium mercury. Sodium mercury. So this, this is the same reaction. Okay. So the same reaction. That means uh, here this type of reactions will follow the our simplest mechanism. N hexane, SO2 phenyl, SO2 phenyl. So here it is uh, abstracted by the pro, uh, base. Now it becomes uh, o, uh, C minus. Now here it is used the phenyl CHO. It becomes uh, SO2 phenyl. O minus now here phenyl and now here phenyl. I, I would like to write the uh, SO2 phenyl in left side. Any hexane is right side. Any hexane is right side. So now here uh, like a phenyl uh, uh, CO minus phenyl CO minus which is protected by the ac 2 o Now we'll get the like a OAC like OAC here any hexane any hexane here phenyl SO2. So here it is a phenyl. Here it is a phenyl. So in presence of sodium mercury we will get the phenyl as well as any hexane as a major product phenyl any hexane as a major product now the third step the same reaction any hexane with the so2 phenyl so the first step is ethyl magnesium bromide in thf in thf now the second step is any hexane cho that means uh, uh, like a heptanol heptanol okay now the third step is ac uh, ac2o the fourth step is sodium mercury what will happen so here r group is changed so generally olefin is common okay so the simplest representation of julia reaction olefin is common now here so the first uh, uh, sulfone attached carbon uh, present over the bottom now uh, aldehyde attached uh, uh, r group uh, presented at the uh, top of the position top of the position so now this is the third example regarding to the julia olefination third example regarding to the julia olefination now we'll go through the fourth example. <coughs> so fourth one is a uh, SO2 phenyl, SO2 phenyl. Here vitriol lithium, first first one, second one benzaldehyde, third one. These are the common. Uh, third one is AC2O. Fourth one is uh, like a sodium and mercury. Now we will get there. So we'll go through the step by step. Here proton abstracted over here. So then it becomes a SO2 phenyl. Now here it is minus. SO2 phenyl it is minus. This minus so attack over the ele electrophilic center of a benzaldehyde. Now we will get the like a phenyl double bond. So SO2 phenyl. Now here so CHO minus here phenyl. CH2O minus here phenyl. So this is protected by the SIL group. Okay, this is protected by the SIL group. Then uh, when we use the sodium in mercury, we will get the like this type of olefin. This type of olefin. So this is the another example of uh, Julia Lithiago olefination. Julia Lithiago olefination. Now we'll go through the modification of uh, Julia Lithiago olefication. So here, so have uh, the brother of Julia uh, Julius Marcus. Uh, uh, it was modified the like a uh, Julia Lithiago uh, Julia Lithiago reaction Julia Lithiago reaction. Now in case of now in case of Julia olefination, so it it it, uh, it proceeds through the three steps. One is addition followed by the acylation followed by the uh, like a uh, reduction. Okay, so it it proceeds through the three steps. That means uh, uh, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time. So so the recent advanced synthesis uh, it cuts down to single step. It cuts down to single step uh, with the help of uh, like a uh, electronically deficient uh, elect electronically deficient. Uh, like a uh, aromatic heterocyclics, aromatic heterocyclics, electronically deficient aromatic heterocyclics help. So the generally uh, these are the like a uh, tetrazole. These are the like a uh, tetrazole. Now here it is the tetrazole. So here phenylated tetrazole, phenylated tetrazole. Here it is attached to the any group. So that's why here it is phenyl tetrazole, phenyl. Tetrazole simply it is called as a PT. So this group is called as a PT or benzothiazoles or benzothiazoles or benzothiazoles. So these groups are used as a 
like uh, instead of aryl sulfones we used the these two groups so it these two groups itself it act as a like a uh, eliminated groups or like leaving groups so we are discussed over the mechanism of modification of julia olefinish okay so these two groups are uh, used for the uh, elimination of uh, like uh, elimination of uh, julia julia product uh, with within a single step within a single step now we'll go through the modification reaction of uh, julia modification of julia olefinish so he, so the julius marcus brother was introduced by the modification okay her brother uh, his brother only introduced the modification so this is the interesting thing now here so he used the like a tetrazole phenyl tetrazoles phenyl tetrazoles here that uh, that is a aryl sulfonyl group sorry here uh, just a sulfonyl group a tetrazole sulfonyl group okay here it is used the tet phenyl tetrazole along with a, a sulfonyl group here we used the like a strong base like here like a strong base k h m d s k h m d s so that is nothing but a potassium potassium hexamethyl diselazide potassium hexamethyl diselazide simply nitrogen uh, n minus k plus n minus k plus here silica, uh, silicon so methyl three times uh, th that is taken whole taken twice whole taken twice so this is the strong base uh, uh, this is called potassium hexamethyl diselazide diselazide which is used as a base in modification reaction so here uh, by using the khmds so now it becomes a s double bond o like here r minus here tp okay let us let us represent a simple one as a tp okay so in case of a minus we use it the like a r dash aldehyde so simply uh, aldehyde so it directly gives the wolfine it directly gives the wolfine without a, like a uh, addition acylation reduction don't go for the those three types so directly it cuts into single step wolfine okay directly it cuts from three steps to one step directly it gives up the corresponding wolfine now let us go through the like a mechanism manner now we'll go through the mechanism of a modification reaction mechanism of a modification reaction nitrogen nitrogen here it is a like a yes a double bond o yes a double bond o here r minus okay here it is r minus so generally it is the phenylated group phenylated group now whenever it is attached to the uh, like aldehyde group now it becomes a o minus here it is r dash o minus r dash so here that o minus can directly attack over the like uh, that o minus can directly attack over the electrophilic center of uh, electrophilic center of uh, phenyl tetrazole that's why we have used the like uh, electronically deficient aromatic heterocyclic compounds okay now here it is directly attack over there then it becomes n minus then it becomes n minus n, n double bond n here n minus here n phenylated group okay now here it is yes double bond o double bond o now here it is o so this is the normal group r and r dash r and r dash so this group can uh, shift towards the return side then it that becomes uh, so the negative charge of the nitrogen atom return back to the like a sulfonyl group and now it, it it becomes it is open it becomes it is open now here o minus now here sulfur oxygen double bond becomes uh, s double bond o now n n double bond here n phenyl n here it is a double bond so whenever it, which is connected to the oxygen now here it is r dash okay so now here r this is s o o double bond o o minus double bond o o minus double bond o o minus so this o minus again return back to the sulfur atom then it forms the s double bond o s double bond o again the bonded two electrons will shift towards the r and r dash r and r dash now again these bonded two electrons will shift towards the o minus will uh, shift towards the o minus now here it, it does not uh, affect it. it does not affect it now here it forms the o minus now we will get the groups like a r and r dash so here also it forms the only e isomer yeah, especially it forms the e isomer plus here it is eliminated as a so2 sulfur dioxide now here it is uh, like a phenylated tetrazole oxide phenylated tetrazole oxide so here it is the byproducts these two are the byproducts in modification of julia olefination modification of julia olefination however in case of like a, with the with the help of tetrazoles now it may be possible to prepare the z isomer for maintaining the like a uh, reaction conditions uh, solvent conditions and uh, temperature as well as uh, surrounding room atmospheric conditions so it may be possible to get the z isomer in presence of a modification of julia 
molification of Julia olefination. Okay, these are the Julia olefination reactions and its modification. Now let us discuss the one one more example of uh, like a modification of uh, Julia uh, Julia reaction. One example of Julia modification reactions. Julia modification reactions. Now here it is the SO2 phenyl SO2 phenyl. Now here it is nothing but a, a protected. Uh, protected uh, carbonyl that is uh, which is protected by the ethyl, ethyl, uh, ethyl glycan ethyl glycan now we used the khmds that is nothing but uh, potassium hexamethyl diacetyl which is a base which is a you know, base now we will get the like uh, so2 phenyl minus like it is protected and uh, protected manner now by using the another like uh, it's a otbms otbms now here tbdms here it is aldehyde, here it is aldehyde. So this aldehyde carbon can form the double bond with a, a sulfonyl attached carbon atom, sulfonyl attached carbon atom. So this is the simplest representation of uh, formation. Now here it is the carbon. This carbon can uh, develops the double bonds, can develops the double bonds with a uh, aldehyde. Again, which having the, like one is a methyl group and another one is OTBDMS group, OTB. DMS group. Okay, so this is the one of the example of uh, modi uh, modification of Julia reaction. Modification of Julia reaction. Uh, if it is possible, I will make the video another video on the modification of uh, Julia reaction with the help of benzothiazoles. With the help of benzothiazoles. So these are the best examples regarding to the Julia and modification of Julia olefinations. Okay, so here in case of uh, Julia olefination, we will get only trans product as a measure, trans product as a measure. Otherwise, uh, another reaction. So it may be like a regio selectivity it may be differs with another c double bond c formation reactions okay thank you for watching